This operation was originally meant to be both elephant and zebra uh, concurrently, uh, utilizing a helicopter. Given both the difficulty in the environment, how large it is, how difficult some of the areas are to access, but also the security context of the region. And the operation kind of hinged around the, the elephant. Unfortunately, the helicopter wasn't able to make it into country. So we focused on doing the zebra and focused uh, on doing them from the ground, which is technically more challenging. We often say here, we, we don't want to fall in love with our plan and uh, we really had to change. So we really had to adapt. Upemba had never put any colors to any animals. So we, we asked the support of African Parks and Garamba National Park, and we were able to immediately adapt the plans and start with the coloring of the zebras. We started off from the ground, planning how we could do things with a pure approach on foot, trying to sneak up to them. Uh, that ultimately turned out absolutely impossible. And we, we already knew that was likely to be highly impossible just from the terrain, no trees, no cover. So ideally we we're going to try and dart from the back of a, a moving motorbike. It is possible in certain areas when the ground is relatively flat, but here absolutely not possible. You know, our first attempts at trying that were, uh, proved very, very quickly that that's not going to be uh, feasible. But ultimately we settled on doing a car chase approach. So it's, it's very similar to using a helicopter, except you chase them with the vehicle from the ground. It was a very, very bumpy first attempt. The, the driver has to try and maintain the same speed as the animal for me to be able to actually dart. Any of these operations, again, be that helicopter or vehicle chase like this, you want to get to the animal as quickly as possible, put the dart in as quickly as possible, and then release the pressure as quickly as possible. And then we'll approach once the animal is showing heavy signs. So I want to get a blindfold over the eyes, reduce as much stimulation as possible to reduce the stress to the animal, get it onto the ground in a comfortable position, and then given that we are chasing them, I want to check the temperature. That's, that's my primary priority. Once we've finished with that, once we're happy the animal is secure, then we can start coloring, which is our obviously main aim of the operation, taking genetic samples, uh, and then very important for us to treat the dart wounds and then make sure to get the animal in a nice safe position to wake up. So of course we're here for, for a job, which is to install the collars on the animal for anti-poaching, for the biomonitoring. It's, it's, it's for that reason that we're doing this, but you cannot underestimate the, the bond that can be uh, formed when those rangers actually have contact with the animals that they're protecting. I think our rangers are more, you know, uh, focused on uh, are we going to survive an ambush? You know, are we going to be able to come home safe? And, and they are not always able to really enjoy, you know, what conservation is. With the coloring of the zebras, uh, where you see also our rangers, you know, reconnect. They feel that, okay, we are part of it and, and we are really, you know, being able to protect them. But voyant ces animaux comme ils sont très belles, pourquoi ils sont toujours chassés? Pourquoi les braconniers veulent toujours chasser ou tuer ces zèbres? Donc, Pour les écogades, ils voient ou ils ont vu que c'était réellement important. Oui, c'est des animaux qu'il faut réellement protéger et ça va apporter un plus pour ces pour ces écogades parce qu'ils viennent ils, ils viennent de voir l'importance réellement de sauvegarder euh, les zèbres. You know, having the opportunity to to see them so close, I would say it was incredible. This should be something that we should share with all of our rangers. We didn't do this operation, you know, to get more funding. We, we did this operation uh, because we, we find it's, it's important, you know, for, for the park. That shows also the commitment and, and perseverance of, of the teams that we have on the ground to, despite, you know, obstacles, uh, always try to move forward, you know, given the circumstances. The, the major issue that they're facing here is security. Once you secure the area, then, then the wildlife will, will thrive here. But with reintroductions, this plateau will be a thriving ecosystem. So we believe that with the de support of the barriers of fonds, with the croissance, the reintroduction of animals, the tourism will grow at the national level of Upemba.